Okay, we have lift off. Welcome to Caveaway, everyone. My name's Lindsay. This is a smooth ride. We're not too crowded, so if you want to shimmy past some of your friends to have a look at a few things, you are quite welcome. Looking forward and down. <laughs> we are 170 metres up at that point and going down into the rainforest. So the first thing to have a look at, slightly to the left of the front of the cabin, uh, if you're up the top it might be a bit hard to see, but just bend down and have a look. We have Mount Solitary. Bigger than Uluru in size, a nice sandstone cliff there, um, called the Sleeping Giant, or the giant Inuit by the local indigenous tribes. Slightly to the right of that, we have a smaller mountain, but it has a crop of rocks. That is called the Ruined Castle. It takes two hours to walk out. It's a favourite of Bush. Okay, and I think we'll look at we the sandstone escarpments on the right hand side. Some of my friends are taking photos of that. 150 metres of sheer cliff that protects the rainforest from westerly winds. Now, have I mentioned the very famous three sisters, Minai, Wimla, and Gunny Doo? With good visibility, we can see the footbridge onto the first sister people walking around enjoying the day. Now it's probably a good time to look behind us. We will see Katoomba Falls from top to bottom, 240 metres of waterfall. You can see the two glistening shelves, bottom railway platform, and the last big rock standing up there alone, Orphan Rock. And that is the last thing we can see as we descend into the rainforest. We don't get a big long view of that. Okay, things to do in the rainforest. If you're with a guide, stick with your guide, they know what they're doing. And for the rest of us, we will be exiting on the right hand side of the cabin where I'm pointing, my right. 